recently a brown family member of mine got a new job, thought the job was going to be great. She realized that all the owners and all the bosses in the company were white. All the professionals there were white. And that 95, 97% out of 100 people that work there, 97% of, percent of them were white. They had a policy of not hiring brown and black people. She was that one brown person that they hired. At first, she thought this might be a problem, and sure enough, in my opinion, it became a, and in her opinion, it became a problem. Eventually, she was alienated. We don't know exactly why, because her work ethic is far above anybody's that I've ever seen in my life. She was alienated. She was singled out, and management told gross lies on her. And when they wrote her up and gave her a two-week notice, termination, corrective action for termination, they couldn't give her one specific example. They just labeled her as unreliable and that there had been complaints, but not one example was given. Within that two weeks, she set out and asked every one of her managers and every person that she worked with for feedback. Every single feedback that she got was positive. She confronted the manager later on and gave them this information. And she could, yes, we're getting positive feedback. But eventually she had to go to HR and complain about race in the company. And they didn't fire her, but luckily she found another job and left this racist institution. But this is how racism works in America. It's 2024 and white nationalist organizations are operating all over our country, everywhere. Whites only, whites mainly. Let's not hire black people. Let's not hire brown people. I oh, will hire one or two out of a hundred, three or four out of a hundred, maybe five. And if you complain about race in America, you are the problem. You are gas lit to the point of trauma. And if you're black or brown and you complain, it's traumatic for you. And you may lose your job or you may lose friends. And I can tell you as a white person who has held other white people accountable multiple times. One time I got my life threatened and I lost a very important job and went into poverty for three years because I told white people they should not use the N-word behind a black man's back. And I called them racist and confronted them since 1990. Lost my job, went through hell for three years. But my point is, is that if you bring up race, if you talk about race, if you call out race, you are the problem. Friends, white friends, family, even my Cuban side of my family, many of them cannot talk about race, will not acknowledge race. And I've lost countless, countless, countless dear white friends. And even family members have kicked me out of their house because they had racist ideals and I called them out. When I say kick me out of the house, I'm talking about a moment when I was deathly sick. They threw all my shit out in the street. I, I mean, all my belongings out in the fucking yard and physically kicked me out of their house when I was at my lowest. It's an immediate family member that did this all because I said that belief you have is racist. This is how white people act out. This is what they do when you challenge white people. Because white people have never, ever, ever cared. Collectively, generally speaking, culturally, white people have never, ever, ever cared about white supremacy. What white people care about, and what white people only care about racially, is not being labeled a racist. That's what they care about. And that's what they will fight you on, and that's what they will gaslight you on, and that's what they will hurt you on. And that's what they will will try to destroy you when you confront them about race. And if they're not trying to destroy you, they will avoid you like you're the plague. This is white America. This is where we're at in 2024. And it's only getting worse. If you look at the politics, if you look at what's happening in the conservative party, racism and fascism and white nationalism and white supremacy is on fire. It is running rampant. 2024, and we are digressing, folks. 
hopefully as a, as a fellow human being, as a white person, you could simply deny, right? That racism is wrong in general. Racism is wrong. We all know that. We all know that genocide is wrong. We all know that murder is wrong. We all know that greed and great evil is wrong. We know what Hitler did was wrong. We know what King Leopold did was wrong. But many of us white folks today, Zionists, many of us white Christians today don't know what Benjamin Netanyahu, what Israel is doing and what America is doing. To, for the genocide of the Palestinian people in Gaza, we don't know that it's wrong, but we know what Hitler did was wrong. But we don't know what Benjamin Netanyahu is, what Israel and America is doing is wrong. That's interesting. But guess what? History will know what is happening is wrong. And same thing, the masses of people during slavery didn't know that it was wrong. No, they supported it, denying it, ignoring it, perpetrating it. That's right. <laughs> it's always been that way. It's, it's happening exactly today. If it's not if it's not the genocide in Gaza, then it's the white supremacy operating in America today. That the masses and masses of white people ignore, deny, are silent about, don't want to talk about it, don't want to get uncomfortable, don't want to have those conversations. I just want to keep benefiting from white supremacy, institutional racism, have my white privilege and not acknowledge that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to perpetuate the narratives that support white supremacy and that support our system and our culture of racism. That's what we do as white folks. So I'm asking you again, white America, when they look back at you and your character and what you supported, where do you stand? Do you stand with racism by ignoring it, sweeping it under the carpet, not talking about it, arguing about it, perpetrating the lies about it? Gaslighting black and brown folks, perpetrating all those delusional narratives about race in America, all those negative stereotypes about brown and black folks, supporting companies that only want to hire white, never holding other white people accountable for their racism and for their white supremacist ideology, for voting people like Trump, Haley, DeSantis, all those motherfuckers that support white supremacy openly. Is that who you're going to support? I'm not saying Biden's much better, but I'm asking you, but they are making policies that Biden is not supporting. The conservatives are a white nationalist organization creating policies that would do direct harm to black and brown folks. That's intentional because it is a white nationalist party. And that's a fact. So where do you stand today as a white person? What do you really support? White supremacy or do you support humanity for all?